Just a quick video today. I was wondering if anybody else has seen the Slimbook 2 Fedora edition and if so what their thoughts was about it. The chassis looks really nice. I prefer the 14 inch over the 16 and as I understand it it's a magnesium aluminum alloy and real quick here the one thing with the 14 inch is the GPU is the Intel Iris built in. If you get the 16 inch edition, you do get an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060, eight gigabytes. Coming in at three pounds, coming in at 2.2 pounds, which is absolutely excellent for uh, a 14 inch laptop. However, I think the way they're doing that is with the aluminum magnesium alloy. Comes with the Intel Core i7 13700H processor, 14 cores, 6 performance, 8 efficient, 20 threads, decent, GTX, 90 hertz refresh rate, 99% of sRGB true color if you're into photography. 2.5 and 3k high resolution uh 89 viewing angles that can be good and bad now look at the resolution on the 16 and the resolution on the 14 the 14 definitely looks much more dense 400 nits max brightness uh, i doubt it supports hdr and then we have a little bit more detailed look on the ports so we've got a USB-C Thunderbolt 4 very good very good a USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 HDMI 2.1 connector and number 4 an AC connector I watched a little video that they did and apparently they've been taking a little flack about having a barrel connector on here they do say however that this laptop will support USB-C charging. The reason they put the barrel connector on there is so they could get more, a quicker charge for the uh, NVIDIA video card. So if you want to, you can charge via USB. But uh, yeah, this will be the preferred way to get a fast charge. On the other side, a Kensington lock. A USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 and a USB-A 3.2 Gen 2 SD card reader. I like that. And audio and audio input and output. So this is decent. Let's just click on the specs real quick. Pretty much everything we just talked about in more detail. I don't know why, but I always like the 14 inches better. It's interesting how we were doing 13.3 inch and uh, 15 inch, and now the Max made it 14 and 16, and everybody is following suit. But that's okay with me because I do like the extra screen real estate. It makes going to a smaller laptop not so much of a big deal as it could be what else we got here anything that we haven't talked about infinity touchpad i would like to try it i wish i could get my hands on one of these two non-solder ddr5 slots at 5200 megahertz up to 64 gigabytes that's decent uh one slot mvme m2 up to four terabytes and a second slot up to four terabytes so this system could have some serious serious storage here um, you could even turn it into a, a raid if you wanted to i suppose depending on how you want to do it 1080p webcam I already talked about the ports of course it comes with fedora workstation on it um, as should be expected, I believe it's Fedora 40. 
You can get the silver or gray, silver gray or black color. I like the silver. I think it looks really nice. Intel Wi-Fi 6. So not a 6E. And many reviewers are talking about Wi-Fi 7. I think it's way premature on that. But um, it would be nice to see Wi-Fi 6E. Bluetooth 5.2. Two 2 watt speakers. Integrated microphones and webcam. Overall, so, blah, 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 blah. overall size, 308 by 215 by 14 millimeters. 355 by 245 by 20 millimeters. I didn't quite get this. This has a 99 watt hour battery. This is the 14 inch. And this has an 82 watt hour battery, uh, which is the 16 inch. So they both get approximately six to eight hours of in-office use. That I believe, you know, when I get a laptop and I always take the number that the manufacturer says the system will, will get as far as battery life and divide it by two. So... To me, six hours sounds reasonable. The thing is, I don't like running my system on uh, half brightness. I can't stand it that way. So I'm up to like 60% at a minimum, usually 70, 75. So I don't get as much time on my battery use. That's okay. So here's the charger, 120 watt, 20 volt jack charger can do USB-C and over here for the 15 inch because of that NVIDIA uh, chip 180 watt 20 volt jack charger included so yeah that makes sense it's got to be a little bit more powerful to maintain a charge while you're playing games or whatever you happen to be doing so looks like there's only a warranty in Spain and Europe six months on the battery huh well let's order one well okay i'm not gonna order one how much would it cost me this is the one i would like looks like we got a sale going on oh that's the fedora one yeah that's cool though you can get the fedora one on if you want on sale let's say i wanted to get one of these $13.99 base model. It gives me up to. So let us go ahead and do some $255 to get us up to 64 gigabytes. That is reasonable. This is no Apple's silliness. And you know what? I want a 4 terabyte. Now this... Yeah, actually that, that price is appropriate. I've been looking at 4 terabyte nvmes and the ones i were seeing were like 300 to 350 so you're paying a little bit of money to have it installed i can understand that i mean why not just get the 250 gig and do it later and, and you could argue that for this too okay well let's say i don't want to install it then what operating system should i choose I want US ANSI as my keyboard, USB-C adapter, I mean as far as I know I don't need it, I have plenty of them at home. I can make my own USB Linux distros, that's nine pounds. And EU power cord, I want the US power cord, no additional charge. What's my total? 2,053 pounds. I need that in dollars. All right, 2,053. All right, 2,053. Whoops. 2,053 pounds is roughly equal to 2,568 dollars. Um. That's awfully expensive. 
you do get a lot for it though let's be honest i i really i really added a lot to mine so we have 64 gigabytes of ram we've got four terabyte nvme just out of curiosity let's go back and order what i probably would order so base model is 1399 but i decide i want to get 32 gigs for now i like how they'll do one memory module so if you know you're going to add another one uh, you can buy one right now and then buy another one later. This, of course, would give us dual channel RAM. And if you don't have any plans for upgrading, this is a good choice. Honestly, I probably would get a two terabyte NVMe. And it would just be the Western Digital. The United States. U.S. Power Cord. Buy. 1584 $1,981 so getting close there to 2000 so you only saved about $300 still I think it's a good deal what do you guys think is it something that you would consider doing or are you just gonna buy something like an x1 carbon thinkpad and put fedora or whatever Linux distribution you want on there We've got to talk in the future about why Fedora is doing this, what they do with the money that they make, aside from paying the bills for getting the new, getting the hardware, well, new hardware, so Fedora 2, and what the logic is. But we'll get into that in another video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets.